Good day, everybody, it's Max, and welcome back to Infinite Factory, the Rebels, that's right, the pig scum, we got away from them, <laughs> but now we gotta get home, we gotta save our own people, we gotta get reinforcements, we gotta do things, and, uh, yeah, holy smokes, let me tell you, <laughs> this last batch, this last batch of puzzles, I mean, you know, what we did, what we did was child's play. It was child's play compared to what we're doing now. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy, people. Before we get started, of course, big thanks to recent subscribers. Um, as the name's going bottom of the screen. Uh, of course, that's run by Steam Elements. I, I have nothing to do with that. So if your name's not showing up there, blame Steam Elements. But I appreciate everybody that hits the subscribe button. Uh, of course, to live chat, including Mr. O. Uh, mega is not the word I would use. Insanity is the word I would use. You're going to see craziness today it's craziness um yeah i mean it's, it's just crazy uh so we'll see that uh of course uh, a big thanks to all those watching in all the time zones later on feel free to watch me at two times speed uh but you'll probably have to slow it down sometimes today because we're working on some very complicated things i was trying to be polite <laughs> yeah right dude uh, uh, what can I tell you? I mean, it's it's we're gonna see some insanity today. It's it's where it is. So uh, with that, uh, let's uh, switch the screen over. And wow, that's really dark, Max. There we go. Look at that. That worked. Uh, hey, we're in the bunker uh, with uh, uh, with Dave, Nina, and I can never pronounce this guy's name, uh, Minervo. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna we're, Minervo wants us to go home right uh so let's have a look at them puzzles <laughs> okay so it's time to build the homeward fleet and there are several puzzles and let me tell you they're all insane they're just all insane <laughs> they're all insane um okay so uh I i'll explain to you what's going on right yeah let then get some uh green smoke in the lungs <laughs> yeah um so <sighs> These puzzles are, are whack, okay? And, like, your brain really gets burnt out on them. So, uh, what I've been doing is, I've been working on them, uh, you know, like, like late at night, you know, when I'm trying to, you know, uh, you know, just trying to do, I don't know, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there. You can only work on them for so long, and then your brain burns out, and then you gotta step away from it. So, these puzzles are really crazy, right? Now, the first one I have working, the second one I do not. We haven't gotten past the second one yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's not happening. Um, but we're going to work on it today, that's for sure. So let's actually have a look at the first one. So the first one, um, uh, of course, mission briefing. Let's play the briefing here. Uh, we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll have uh, Valtros, uh, so Valtros uh, tell us all about the mission briefing. Give it to me one time. There you go. We're building freedom here, people. Freedom! We're building freedom here. You know it. All right, so that means puzzle one. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at puzzle one. And uh, of course, navigation computer. Uh, sure. Uh, in fact, we can actually go into the blank. Now, I don't have a blank one for the next one, but uh, I do have a blank one here for this one. So we could actually go into the blank one here just so you have a look at it. So here is what they want. Okay. They want 10 of these. Okay. Now, of course, the first issue here is, 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 the, uh, is the vertical versus the horizontal versus the uh, X, Y, and Z axes. Uh, we just don't have the equipment. Right? I mean, we have forward welders, we have top-down welders, but, um, you know, first of all, we don't have, like, like uh, up-pointing welders. Boy, an up-pointing welder would be so nice, <laughs> let me tell you. 
I really wish we had up-pointing welders, just like I wish I had up-pointing counters, but we'll talk about those later. Uh, at the same time, of course, you know, we are limited to what we can do here, all right? Uh, and we got to do all this on the sideways pitch, right? Uh, so there is the board coming out, and then up here are all the circuits coming out. Uh, so, of course, if we just do a run on this, uh, you're going to see here, it's going to spit out circuits and the major CPU. Uh, it spits out a board, and we got to make that all happen <laughs> into this. Yeah, let me tell you. Okay, so let's uh, let's get out of this, because this is terrible. Uh, let's go back to the barracks, and I will show you what we got. All right. Okay, now this actually doesn't look too complicated, uh, but let me tell you. I am... <laughs> Holding stuff on sideways, holding stuff sideways is not that easy. Uh, so we have, let's talk about the board first. Uh, so here comes the board, right? The board comes out. We only allowed the board to advance once we get to, a, once we have a certain point in time, right? So you'll notice here that the board will get blocked by this blocking piston and it's not allowed to come out until after something happens here, okay? Uh, up here, of course, this is a pretty standard build uh, in terms of what it is we're doing here. Um, so you'll see here, uh, we're, we're collecting a bunch of transistors or whatever, chips, right? And we collect those chips on this, uh, on this slider board, like we've done that many times. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna group them together in sequence, right? So actually, the four chips that are over here are all singularity chips. And of course, as you can see here, we have uh, one, two, three, four singularity ports uh, to do that. But you'll also notice that the little chips have a, 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 like a Tetris here. Uh, there's, a, there's a two chip standing up and a, a two chip laying down. <laughs> oh man, let me tell you. Uh, okay, so the two chip laying down uh, is pretty simple. Here it is right here. So as soon as they fall off, it bloops, it bloops them together. And this is our um, chips standing up. And of course, as soon as it falls off, it bloops it together and away it goes. Okay. Uh, so that's going to handle, that's going to handle our small chips. Now the big one, <clears throat> the big one, of course, is on its own. Uh, we'll deal with him soon enough. So of course, obviously, as soon as we get all the chips in here, you'll notice that uh, it, it's a two button slide. Now, the one thing about these pistons is that it takes, it tends to take two ticks or uh, two seconds if we want to make it simplistic. It takes two seconds for the piston to not only back off, but allow the piece that you want to go by to get past it. If you only put one button in place, yes, you'll get the piston back, but it won't be in enough time for the for the object you want to get out of the way to move past it and it will get stuck there so that is why we have two buttons here uh it will be just enough to keep this line alive uh to of course allow that uh cpu board to come out right right that's uh that's how it is now you'll notice the other thing we do is when we uh allow these uh to come down we also send um, a signal to this CPU uh, piston to allow it to also come out and uh, join its brethren. So we don't allow the CPU to come out until the other eight chips have come out and they've joined uh, forces. Now, the rest of this is... Uh, the, the big trick here is um, what I would call diagonal, I guess, diagonal welding, right? Like you gotta drop pieces in, but then we have to stick them to the board, right? Um, it's a little hard to see on this one. So let's have a look at this one. So you'll see here what we've done is we have made, uh, we have made uh, sticky pistons with welders on them with little buckets, right? To hold these things. And so the piece will drop onto this, uh, onto this piece. And then once it's ready, it will shove this forward. Now, when it shoves it forward, it's going to make just enough distance to make contact to turn this welder on, and it will be awesome, okay? Now, that's what happens over here, right? So, over here, we have the same deal. Uh, the three, box, uh, three chips are going to come down here. Uh, once they're all in place, this will jet forward, and this will be just close enough that these will turn on. This was the tricky one. Uh, of course it was. Uh, <laughs> 
because this is this is crazy whack uh is what this is uh so one of the problems here was was that uh I had to get it. I had to get this CPU here, or this little, uh, this little processor here. I had to inject it. Yes, they can. Um, materials are really weird, right? So like, you can and you can't do it on certain things. So on this motherboard, you can, but certain blocks you can't. So you kind of, it's kind of hit and miss as to what blocks you can do it, but you can weld through this. So you'll see that here in a second. Uh, but this block here was my big troublemaker, right? So I couldn't just, like, like you, if it wasn't for this block, you could do this in two steps, where you could just do the entire bottom row and then weld it. And then if it wasn't, and, and ignoring that one, then you could do an entire top row and weld it. But I had to have this third row, like this single block on a third thing. And the thing is, is uh, timing is kind of important here, right? Uh, so I couldn't really add like a third step, uh, like a step in between the bottom and the top row to get this one circuit in place. So to do that, that is what you're seeing here. What you're seeing here is, uh, this one circuit comes in this way on the sideways bend, uh, and then injects itself in. And when it does, it will, it will make contact with this and make it weld. All right. Now we're going to run this a few times just so we can see all the parts moving. Uh, so this is going to handle the bottom row of chips plus that one center chip. All right. Then this over here is going to handle the top row of chips, right? Uh, the two chips plus the big CPU chip. Uh, and let me tell you, that's a pain in the butt. Uh, hey, let's have a look at something really cool and different. You're like, what? what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. This, oh, this, this is magic, people. That's what this is. This is a double piston pusher, all right? So when this gets a signal, this first piston right here is going to push out, okay, these blocks, all right? But when it does that, this second piston and its wire is going to make contact with this wire and activate this second piston to push it again to make contact with the motherboard. Um, I mean, this is this is pretty great. <laughs> hey, what's up? I hope it's all good in the neighborhood. You betcha. So this is a double piston pusher setup. All right, and this is pretty cool. I will say this is pretty cool. Um, I, I will say. Uh, and that's exactly what we actually have over here. What we have here is this won't activate until this block, right? This block here, right? <laughs> Um, this won't activate until this block, uh, <laughs> this is a counter block. Oh, this is really cool, people. This is really cool. So what happens is, is I've got a block floating in the air, and we've got some buttons, and what it does is it, it, it will, in, it will force this wire over, right? So I've made a, basically I've made a CPU counter, all right, running on a little track, and every time the block goes by, okay, uh, it's going to <laughs> do a thing. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's a lot of moving parts here, right? So this gets pushed forward. This wire is going to get pushed forward, make contact with this wire, and then push this block out to do a count again, right? Oh, this is really good. This is really good. Um, well, I mean, the, uh, the, the wire block, the, the counter block I came up with, the wire block I did see on another video, but I have taken it like one step farther right they had kind of used it in a, in a in a one kind of way and then i took it and i made this contraption -y thing <laughs> so uh i mean this is going to be really cool we're, we're, like i said we're gonna run this a couple of times because you're gonna want to see this over here this is really awesome i mean the whole thing is awesome uh but uh i mean there's a lot of moving parts and then what happens is it finishes this and then drops the whole thing to get, to get delivered over here, right? The whole motherboard just drops right out into space and then gets delivered <laughs> over here. This is really cool. All right, so let's give this a shot. Uh, you know, there's all the explanation. We're gonna sit, we're gonna have a look at each of the parts working uh, as we review them a couple of times. Uh, so we're gonna hit the, uh, here we go, right? So we're running some board. Now remember, uh, the CPU and the motherboard cannot get out until 
this slider is ready for it, right? So we're we're watching the uh, we're watching the circuit boards come out. There it is. All right. Now we're gonna pause there for a second. Okay. Uh, so the first uh, the first circuit and uh, the uh, I think uh, this third one here. Uh, the first the first circuit and the last circuit here have now fallen down below, and they're gonna get ready. Here they are. Look at that. Right there they are. Uh, this is the double circuit that's going to get dropped off here shortly. So we're going to get the double circuit there and the two single circuits here. Uh, we're also getting a single circuit right there. Right, that's the guy that's going to land on there. Okay, uh, and that and of course as soon as that triggered, right, the CPU got going. Okay, and here comes our motherboard. Right, right. We allowed the motherboard to come out. Uh, so we're going to just move this a little bit forward, a little more. Okay, so now we've moved it up and we're starting to slide the motherboard into position as the blocks are now getting ready uh, for their first set of welds. So here comes the motherboard. There's one, there's two, there's three. So we can see here the motherboard's coming in, okay? Uh, this first row of CPU blocks, all right, are getting ready for uh, their, their debut, right? And here comes, here comes the motherboard. Now, uh, obviously, a couple of things are going to happen here. One, the motherboard's only going to get up here so high, right? Because the blowers will only blow this up four blocks, right? So the, the, the motherboard's coming up here. Uh, it's going to hit this button. <laughs> going to hit that button. And that's awesome uh, because that button is going to trigger this over here and that's why we want to be able to see this like we're going to come we're going to reset this and, and come back over here because you want to see this this actually is really cool uh but we're, we'll have a look at that in a minute anyway you're pretty basic stuff here well there's nothing basic about it, it it's a but you'll watch the engineering on this uh here we go all right so it it shot them forward made contact with the lasers on the other side and it was just enough to make that stick right so there we go all right that made that stick okay now we're on our way to this uh part two all right so part two is coming up here comes our uh here comes our our main cpu and our little block uh i think the other two have already arrived right yeah the other one has already arrived uh so of course we only have three blocks left the big cpu the double stack and a single the single has already fallen into place the double is about to fall into place as well as this as the main CPU is falling into place. So we're going to let that forward and everything's falling into place now, right? Uh, it's the timing here, <laughs> the timing, holy smokes. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to, that's going to hit there. Okay, and now the CPU over here, of course, what do we got going on here, right? This CPU is up against this button, which does nothing right now right this button does nothing right so it's not going to do anything until this moves forward and then makes things connect right it's, which is awesome uh okay so we're going to move it forward a little more and you'll see here the buttons the button's powered but it but it's not connected okay um and uh of course now the problem with this cpu is that it's two blocks thick which means now i got to push this forward two times right that's why we have a double piston here um let me see now these guys are coming up with their next round right so we have the next uh, cpu board coming into play uh and that's fine now of course as soon as that cpu hits that button right up there just like before right it's going to come down this wire uh it's going to weld those but it's also going to weld these and it's going to make this counter start ticking away Right, this counter is going to go boop, and you'll notice this counter, right? It's got a wire that goes down and underneath. Okay, uh, it comes back over here, and this is what allows this piston to go away and then drop this down and continue on its journey. Right, so uh, it's pretty awesome. That way. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, so uh, we're waiting for the big push. Uh, and that, as you can see, that other motherboard's about to hit the button right about now. And so there's, there's your first piston, right? So it, it made it here, hit the first piston, boom. But this has now made a connection. So this piston is now going to keep pushing this forward, right? So it wasn't enough. We're going to push this forward, 
Also, this has now made connection, which has now going to start the timer, right? So the timer is now going to start. There we go. Look at us go. <laughs> okay. It pushed it far enough. It's now made the weld connections. Uh, they're now backing off. This guy's this guy's just dropping in for his next load. That's fine by him. Uh, this guy's backing up. Okay. And the counter is now on, right? So the counter is now going by these buttons, right? And you'll notice the wire is activated. And that's because with the wire activated, this is now getting ready to drop into place, right? So that, that, that button is now pushing back. And it falls down, gets pushed forward, and we'll stop it there, okay? Uh, now, the counter is going to reset itself, right? So the counter is now reset, <laughs> all right? Oh, man, this is awesome. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, the next round of, of welding is taking place here, right? Uh, I hope. Please, I I hope so. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, yep. And we're going to let that go. All right, uh, and there's all the pushing. There was the counter. The counter is now running again. That all double pushed. And uh, we should get our first one here. We should be able to look at our first one here, right? Uh, that should be good. Boop, that is a nine, people. That's a nine. Okay, so uh, multiple things going on here, but, I mean, it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, it's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, uh, so... This uh, this puzzle is basically good to go. Um, it uh, it's got some really cool features. Uh, first of all, the uh, the horizontal uh, or is this vertical? Anyway, the different style of welding was the first challenge, right? Making getting the welding to work on a on a sideways uh, board was definitely a challenge. It was definitely a challenge. And this extra block right here was really a pain in the butt to deal with. Uh, vertical. Is that what we're dealing with? We're dealing with vertical? <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, the second problem was actually this CPU. This CPU, because it's two tiles thick, I couldn't use a welder with a block on it and a welder behind it. So you notice I've got this cheat-sided welding going on here, but because of that, I had to have a way to push this CPU two blocks. And uh, that is where this wired contraption thing comes in, which works really cool. And it has its own counter to do a thing. I mean, this is awesome. It has its own counter. And and I may have to use this in the next puzzle. <laughs> so, because uh, when we look at the next puzzle, your mind's going to get, like, totally blown away. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we're going to slowly run this, and here it comes, and there goes that puzzle, right? And as you can see, it's like one, two, boom, boom. This now puts the counter on, and there goes there goes the drop, and life is good, right? All right, uh, and that looks like we're going to get another we're going to get another motherboard out of it, right? Uh, looks pretty good. Yes, that that's a seven. <laughs> you betcha. Holy smokes. I mean, this is this is pretty amazing to watch. Uh, the whole thing, the whole thing, I must admit, this was a really, this was a hard puzzle to do. And uh, took me many nights. Uh, but I did get it done. And not only did I get it done, but gosh darn it, uh, we got it done and it works. Uh, and I can't believe it. And this is nothing compared to the next puzzle. <laughs> this is nothing. This was child's play compared to the next puzzle. And there was nothing child's play about this. Uh, this was very, this was painful. And if and if I'm calling this painful, then uh, I guess the next one is just plain torture because I still don't have that one working. Um, now we are. I mean, obviously we're gonna have a look at the next one. Um, oh man, so many new things. <laughs> so many new things. Um, I mean, it, it is it is a beautiful puzzle. It's a beautiful working puzzle. Uh, I must admit, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, it is it is nice looking. I will say that. Uh, and this is the last one. This is the last one coming right here, people. Look at that. This is this is what you call zero. Boom. Okay. So look at that. My cycle score four thirty eight. Right on. Right where almost everybody does it. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, my footprint's a little big. I'm a little surprised about that, considering. Uh, I don't know what it considers to be a footprint, though. Like, I, I really do get confused sometimes about that. 
And yeah, I used 451 blocks, but uh, suck it up, Buttercup. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, it worked. I couldn't believe it worked. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, it worked. That's all that matters, people. That's all that matters. Uh, is that it worked. And that's what really matters. Um, uh, it's really, it's just that cool, is that it worked. Uh, so, of course, we can, uh, you know, we can run this in a little fast mode. Uh, all the things. All right. And, uh, of course, uh, yeah, I mean, it works. I just, I'm a little, like I said, I'm a little confused about the footprint score. Because, I mean, it'd be pretty hard. It would be pretty hard to fit this much smaller. Right? I mean, this is, I mean, this is nothing compared to the next puzzle. This is nothing. Right? Um, uh, when, the, when it's working, you push P. Oh, to visualize the footprint. Oh, wow. Look at that. I mean, that is pretty crazy, right? Uh, so, it considers all of this to be a footprint. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I think it's kind of cheesy myself. <laughs> anyway, you know what? At the end of the day, it works. And I guess that's all that matters, right? I mean, I, I mean, it took it took quite a while to make this work, right? Um, and I'm, I mean, I'm pretty happy that I just got it to work. Cause trust me, the next one isn't working yet, and you're gonna see what is <laughs> what is considered to be a wild mess over there. We're getting close. I'm getting close, but it's not perfect yet, right? Yeah. So we're gonna continue to the barracks, and that is the first puzzle. Look at that. Solution done. Okay, uh, next puzzle. Um, fusion reactor. Uh, <laughs> gee whiz. Yep. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go into the puzzle. Now I'm going to take you into solution two because solution three is where I <laughs> is where I'm working now. And solution two. Uh, well, we'll get in there. We're going to have a look at. It, all right. So here's solution two. Let's let's go in. Okay. Um. Sure. If you thought my blueprint, <laughs> if my blueprint <laughs> surface area before was maddening, uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, uh, this one will blow your mind. Um, uh, the, uh, the, the, what's going on here, psh, let me tell you, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is a disaster. Now, I say that, but I mean, there's a lot of coolness going on here. And yeah, it doesn't totally work yet, but we're going to work on some of that today, right? Uh, and let's and we're going to have a look at all the pieces here um, and what it is they're doing, because there's a lot of really cool stuff going on here, uh, you know, swapping and stuffing and things and welding. There's a lot of welding. Uh, you got so much <laughs> welding, uh, but let's stop the puzzle. And in fact, there's a lot of lag in this puzzle. Um, one thing about working with this puzzle is uh, I am working with a lag issue, so it's there's a lot of moving parts, right? Okay, so let's have a look at the puzzle. Uh, what do they want in the end? Well, they want this this they want this reactor core. Okay, now this reactor core, um, you know, it's got two it's it's got a base plate and a top plate. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at yeah, it's I could still use so much more space, dude. So much more space. <laughs> I am so tempted to use more space. Uh, yeah, like nothing. Uh, but anyway, so what they want is they, there's a top plate and a bottom plate. Uh, they got the four posts and the nuclear rod, it's, or well, the, the fusion rod itself. The, the first challenge here is this rod is actually sitting inside of squares, okay? So it's not sitting on top of this plate and the bottom of that plate. It's actually sitting inside of hollow squares, well, what a pain in the butt that is. Okay, <laughs> that's um, it's 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 very painful. It's very painful uh, because obviously there is no welders. There are no welders that would be able to weld this piece in there uh, the way it is. It's just not going to happen. It just doesn't happen. Um, you know, right? Like, there's no two di distant welders. Uh, so that's the first challenge. The first challenge is, all right, the first challenge is, is that we've got to build a top plate and a bottom plate and not only build these plates, but make sure that we can weld the, the, the fusion rod into the plates themselves. All right. 
So that is what uh, this what this over here does. Okay. So this over here, this this one down here builds the bottom plate, and that one up there builds the top plate. Okay. So we'll go up here to the top plate. They're very similar. Uh, it's just the uh, obviously the top plate is kind of upside down from the bottom plate uh, in terms of how it goes together. Uh, so what we do here is we have an injector series uh, it, it, with a bunch of countering. <laughs> and uh, what we do is we, we, we build uh, half a plate is what we're doing. We build one half of a plate for each of these. All right. So what I've done, uh, this plate is six wide. All right. It's six wide. And on the underside on, on each of these uh, is four wide, right? So like, you know, this is four by four. The outer plates are six by six, okay? Uh, so that's what this does. Uh, this uh, builds us half a plate. So if we were to cut that plate with a saw right down the center, like that, right? Uh, all good, right? Uh, we would now have uh, two halves of a three plate and, a, and, a, and, a, and an L-shaped plate, uh, and that is what's going on here. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to actually run this first part, just for you to see that. All right. Uh, and now all of these parts are coming out of these two uh, ejectors over here. Okay. So these two ejectors are going to provide all the little uh, squares for this first part. All right. So we're going to run that, and uh, this actually takes a little. <laughs> and there's a lot of blocks to be put together here, so this takes a little time. Uh, we're gonna uh, we'll watch the uh, we'll watch the bottom one I guess uh, that's fine so you'll see the blocks come up here and this will force the blocks in when it gets to six you'll see this go back all right and then the blocks move forward to fill in the next six okay uh, and then yeah there's gonna be a lot of rotation in this because you got to keep turning and welding turning and welding right all right so there's our first three. Uh, this th these will come together and be welded together, right? But now we need the blocks to make the four by four shape, right? And the trick to that is is that we also need to leave a hole in it to inject welders to weld the fusion rod in to make it solidify to the plate, right? So we're gonna move these forward. So we take a couple blocks here. And then we take four blocks here, okay? Okay, now that, uh, as soon as that all happened, okay, uh, you'll notice everything started to release itself. So you'll notice here we've got, we've got this being pulled forward. Uh, we've got these being ejected. We've got these, uh, this is being pulled forward. And when that happened, all of these reset themselves. So you'll notice these all now pop back out and we'll now rebuild, we'll build the next six layers. So now let's watch what happens on this side. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see these three pieces come down. They'll get welded together. Okay, cool. Uh, this piece is gonna come over here and it dropped this block here. This block we don't want. We're just gonna let it fall down for now. That I gotta take care of that later. <laughs> I just wanna point that out, <laughs> that this is, this block has no home yet, but it, it has to find one sooner or later. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it, okay? Um, so this is going to come over here. Uh, we got a, we got a block here, okay? Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, that's fallen down. Then, okay, and this is coming over here and is going to now get dropped on here. And, of course, I can see we're going to try and weld it right there. Uh, and presto magico. All right, excellent. Uh, done. All right, let's have a look at the top. Now, the top is the exact opposite of this. We actually have to drop the L piece in first because, right, uh, the L piece has to drop in first because it's actually underneath the top plate. Uh, so we, uh, we do that. Now we're going to drop this top plate in. Okay, and it's now making its way over. All right, cool. Now, uh, here is, uh, so that is what this whole setup over here does. This whole setup over here builds half plates. It's what it does. It, it builds half plates, leaving out a little spot for us to do some welding. And that's what it'll do. It'll just keep turning out half plates. Okay. That's what it does. That's section one. Now, it, it kind of does a couple other things, um, but we'll talk about those 
later. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to do it. All right. Uh, so now we've got the bottom plate sliding over. Um, and I don't know if my time... Yeah, my timing here is really bad. I might have messed something up. Um, what have you messed up here, Max? Oh, yeah, you, you made a mess down there. Forgot about that. All right. Uh, listen, let's uh, let's just reset this for a second. Uh, I gotta I gotta go down here and I. <laughs> so of course I'm experimenting all the time, right? Uh, you know how it is. You experiment all the time, and I gotta take some of this out. Uh, we'll take it out to there, and I'll just I'll just stick this uh, I'll just stick this with something over here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so now I gotta put a pusher piston back in here. Uh, right there, and life is good. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you're good, and then you can make the step up. Okay, uh, I think that's good. <laughs> um, and again, you're, you're always trying different experiments, right? So, uh, you know, I don't know how many times I've blown something up, so... <laughs> Yikes. Uh, anyway, well, I mean, I, I got to check to make sure I've, I haven't destroyed this. Anyway, so nevertheless, um, I hope I hope this will work by me making that change back because that's why I had to make a third copy. The third copy is me experimenting with this. Um, meanwhile, uh, we got our base coming back, right? Uh, we'll speed this up a little bit. All right, so there's the base now being welded together, and it's going to come over here, right? Here comes our here comes our uh, reactor. All right. And the base should come out here just in time. There it is. All right. Uh, I'm going to pause it right there. Okay. Looks good so far. Uh, you push that belt at the bottom up. Yeah, it's... Trust me. This is nothing. It's going to get a lot more complicated than that. Okay. So... Uh, all right. So here comes our base. Uh, the top is about to fall down, I think. Uh, yes. It will fall down here shortly. Uh, so let's have a move down here. Okay, uh, so we're going to slowly let this happen uh, right there. And so the base drops in. All right, the top's going to drop in. Now, as soon as the top drops in, it has a button here, uh, which then engages a bunch of cylinders, right? A bunch of double cylinders at that, right? So remember that really cool thing we did with the double pusher? Uh, yeah, well, that's the same problem we've got here, right? I have a push a welder in two spots to uh to to make this thing stick right uh so that's what we're doing here boom like that right uh i mean that's pretty cool <laughs> i will say it's pretty cool uh but of course to do that we had to leave these holes we, we had to have these parts um available so we could get that in there to weld that into the top and bottom half of this plate now we got a problem it's only half a plate right <laughs> Uh, so we're making another plate right now. We're making the other half of the plate using the same machines. Uh, and everything is going well. Uh, except we don't want uh, we don't want our friendly neighborhood um, uh, canister or nuclear uh, fusion thing to come up here. Uh, because, hey, guess what? We don't need it yet. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to hit the button on this. Now, this is waiting for a timing here, and I'm going to try and follow this back for everybody. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, it's right there. There's the button. There it is. There's the pusher right there. Uh, all right. So it's coming over here, uh, coming down here, uh, coming up here, and it's the same pusher. It's the same wire that pushes this off, and it's the same wire that pushes this off. And it's the same wire that does this. All right. So, the, yeah. So, basically, again, our, our platform kind of controls all of this moving. Um, yeah. Well, uh, wait till we... Well, that way over there is uh, where we're going to try to fill in the missing holes. <laughs> right? And, but that happens, like, way over there. Okay? Uh, so, uh, we're going to run this forward. Uh, here comes our second plate. All right, this is the other half what we need. All right, and it's gonna come down, and life is good. Now, uh, I'm gonna stop right here because this is starting to push away now, right? This is starting to push away. Um, so this guy is here. Now, I'll admit, I don't have a solution for this yet. He's here, I don't want him here, right? I have no way to get rid of him. So I just dump them off. <laughs> I in this puzzle, I just dump them into the. I just dump them over over the side, 
right? I really don't care. Uh, so, uh, we're, we're gonna run it, but this guy's gonna disappear. This guy's just gonna go down there on that track and hang out there and be cool for a while. Alright, so he's, uh, he's gonna go that way. Alright, meanwhile, this is flip-flopping. Alright, so that guy just flip-flopped around. And let's have a look at this. So, there, there's the bottom base. It's gonna travel underneath here until it gets to here and then come up. And the top base... That second top base is right here. It's actually about to drop on top of this. Um, and of course, it will now drop down on that, right? So let's uh, let's make that happen. And boop, uh, there's the bottom. And here comes the top. Boom, and because the blower pushes the whole thing up, there are two welders here, right? Uh, there's a welder that's like buried right there and it's kind of glowing, you can see it. And the other one is glowing right there. And that welds the two pieces together on both sides, right? <laughs> um, okay, so we now have we now have uh, the the fusion rod and the top and the bottom minus blocks, right? So we're missing a block here, okay? And we're missing a block here on the other side. Same deal here, right? We're missing that block right there and that block right there. But really, we do have the general shape of this thing made, right? Uh, so now let's talk about the next thing, which is uh, these. These are the four outer posts. Uh, so uh, now we do have a problem. Problem number one is the reactor, right? My reactor timing is, sucks, right? My reactor timing is bad, okay? I need to come up with a solution for the reactor because as you can see I have a spare reactor here that didn't get put in anywhere okay I have another reactor on its way up okay which is bad but after this no reactor shows up for a while and I don't know why it's like eh, eh, we're not gonna give me another reactor for a while <laughs> I'm like okay don't do that, all right? Uh, so this is the first problem we're gonna have to try and solve today, um, which of course is trying to figure out a timing for this reactor. This up here was a temporary solution to just get rid of the second reactor, but this is junk. Uh, this isn't gonna work. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on with stage two. Stage two, of course, was we wanna stick all these posts into this thing, uh, but we have to kind of do it a couple of different ways. Uh, yes, I just I just destroyed a whole bunch of them, and that's not going to work either, by the way, because it turns out, uh, yeah, I need those posts uh, later on, You're, <laughs> and so we're going to be short posts, but for this first one, uh, for this one, yeah, so it is a blocker of some sort I got to work with, right? Uh, but we'll work with it. All right, so uh, we've got this one here. Well, now, while this one is here, while we actually have this kind of in this stationary area, we can get one of these to work, and that is going to be this corner right here. And in fact, getting this corner in now actually makes it really nice for the rest of the puzzle because then you can turn it and get the other three corners in right here. Okay, so uh, we're going to run this a little bit. The first post is going to go in. Right, he's done. Great. And now this guy is just waiting for a kicker. All right, so there's the kicker block. And of course, we try to tie all this together on the same network as other things, right? So uh, as you can see, that net, that kicker is tied into the upper and lower control arms of the welders, which of course ties back into this, which of course ties back into this, uh, into the base plates over here, right? So as everything kind of moves together in step is what we're trying to do here, right? So of course, as soon as that all happens, um, we're gonna, we should get a kick out of this. Uh, so we're going to move this forward. Uh, these guys are working their way down to the end. <laughs> okay. There's the kicker. All right. So we got a kicker. And this guy is now trying to find his way. He's got to get down here, by the way, before these guys do. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I've run into a roadblock here. Stupid framing is in my way. So I got to do some dropping and some stuff here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. In snipe bots, pretty intense. Uh, okay, so we we, we get, the, the the thing has got to get here before these drop in the place. All right, so there we oh uh, get that out of the way. There we go. One, two, and three. Perfect. Um, and what's <laughs> okay? Hey, look at that. It's awesome. Uh, so 
You'll notice this wire is active. All right. Uh, this wire is active. And that's because this wire is active all the way back here. Right? All the way back. All the way back here. And it is active in reverse. Uh, because... Oh, this... Oh, man. This, this here. This is beautiful. You're going to love that. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. So, here we are. Uh, we're, we're, what we're waiting for now is this has to drop in the this has to drop down too so it's all these three posts that just arrived get welded right so there's a welder there's a welder there's the welder we know that one over here is welded because we we put it welded it up there uh and we're gonna get a drop on this it's gonna drop it's gonna weld it's gonna hit this uh here and it's gonna move forward oh yeah look at that okay look what happens here Remember them missing blocks, right? <laughs> oh yeah, this is a thing. So we had two missing blocks on the bottom, one there and one there. Uh, we had two missing blocks on top, one there and one over here, right? And this is where we replace these last four blocks to now give us the completed uh, thing. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, so yes, and of course you notice this is all done with double pushers right um this is actually really cool uh it's awesome now uh we have a problem uh the problem is is it's great that that's done uh but let's talk about this over here all right so this wire is activated and has now pushed these blocks in so we're gonna actually let that finish and this is uh this is another problem area right i gotta i gotta put some delays and some stuff on these blocks that's so far down the road. Uh, so, um, this here, what it's done is it's a, it has allowed a complete circuit to take place. And by allowing this circuit to happen, it's now allowed these pushers to all happen. All right. And we'll come up here, sure enough. And sure enough, there's a lot of extra wiring here just because of the space required. It's crazy. Uh, but what's going to happen is this is going to do a reverse, right? So what's going to happen is, is this wire is going to turn back on, right? Which is going to turn this thing back off, which is going to allow that to move forward, right? So we're going to let that go ahead. Um, yep. And it, I mean, it, it, I don't want to hit the fast forward button because things kind of happen. I mean, this is all kind of very complicated. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, come on, very soon. I know it's very soon. Yeah, a little bit sooner. Oh, there it is. All right, yeah, of course, when I finally hit the button. All right, so this grabbed it away. It's still actually in transition. You can actually see the wire still half lit up, right? So it's pulled this wire back out, which now allows these welders to back off. All right, which now allows uh this piston to get pushed and kick it off <laughs> and in doing so it is now on its final journey all right here we go watch this it's now on the final journey that's right this is the final maneuver it's the final countdown um you betcha and nine boom baby that's right that's a nine people okay uh the problem is that's the only one that works <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, this all looked really good. This was awesome, but that's the only one that works. Okay, <laughs> so we have three problem areas. Problem one is the reactors. And as you can see here, there should be reactors here and they're not right. Like we got like, uh, you can see, all right, well, let's, uh, let's have a look. So we, we did get a second post, right? We did get a second one here, right? Um, but it is missing a post. Okay. So, uh, I didn't say that there were three areas of problem. Problem one is the reactor. I need to get a consistent reactor into the slot. Problem two are the outer posts, right? I was destroying some of these. I can't do that because obviously, as you can see, this guy got no posts, <laughs> right? We need them posts for this second guy, right? So... We're going to have to probably come up with some sort of counter system uh, to count off a second set of posts for that guy. Otherwise, this guy's pretty good. All right. 
Uh, but problem three is uh, these spare blocks. All right, so uh, we are there's way too many spare blocks kicking around, and they keep clogging up the system over here. All right, but obviously I'm not even going to worry about over here at the moment. Right. Uh, so the main goal is reached, and now you got to clean up, <laughs> clean up loose ends. Yeah. So, and you would think that would be easy. Yeah. No, that's not easy. Uh, there's nothing easy about it. Uh, so the, the first goal is to get this. If I can get this consistently coming through like this all the way to the end, I will take that. Okay. Uh, but right now that's not even consistent. Yes, we got one that comes through and a second one that comes through, but the, but no more will come through. I, I, um, they're, they're just all over the place, right? So like, where's, where's, where's the next one, right? Like, like there should be <laughs> like, it's just, it's kind of wonky. All right. So that is, uh, that is the working puzzle in theory. I know where the three problem areas are. Um, the three solutions, three solutions are mentioned above. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm glad you think that they're just easily mentioned. Um, uh, but you, you, it's so easy to type it out. And I agree. It's so easy to use just blockers and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then it's not that easy. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I, I've spent many, many hours, many hours building this thing. Uh, you know, every night I work a little bit on it until I get frustrated. And then I set it aside and then it's on to the next night and so on and so on <laughs> and so on. You can only work on it so much and then you're, you kind of get flustered right you kind of get flustered with it um and uh you know like there's a few extra blocks kicking around that you have a real, a real home for it, it it sounds easy to type it, it it sounds easy to type uh yeah cement pistols and bribery in italian language yeah that's what i gotta do i just need i just need like a bunch of bribery down here to to pay off and a bunch of pistols and stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna actually get out of this puzzle. I'm gonna leave this one alone because I actually don't, I, I, like I actually have a working thing here. It's only one, but it works. And it allows me to kind of come back and look at notes sometimes. So now we're gonna switch to my puzzle three where I've been messing around. All right, so I'm gonna park myself here and I'm gonna get out of that, go back to the barracks. And did it crash? I think it might have crashed. Gosh darn it. Uh, when you know I was just exiting as it did the autosave. Uh, that's fine, just a second. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do this. Uh, I'll switch to, I'll switch to this and then I will, uh, I will close the window. And yeah, it's a little cranky, yeah, it crashed. So, and, and that's the only time I've ever had any crashing is when I'm exiting to the barracks while actually, uh, when autosave kicks in. Uh, so now we can come back. Hopefully it's there. Uh, right? There it is. Hey guys, look at that. We're back. All right. So, uh, yeah. So when you try to go to the barracks while it's autosaving, it does, it does get cranky on you. All right. So let's try that again. Okay. So now solution three. Uh, so... Um, uh, Max, I really understand how hard it is, but it's funny. <laughs> oh yeah. It's fun for you. Oh, yeah. It's so fun. It's so fun. You know how many times I just wanted to say, you know what? The heck with it. <laughs> I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I don't want to be on this world anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to, we're going to try to get this. Uh, Neto, what's up? I hope it's all good in the neighborhood. I remember this crazy level. Yeah, I remember it too. I still remember it. It, it, it haunts me in my dreams. Yeah, if you destroy the material that can screw up the timing on future products. Uh, but the opposite is also true. If you don't destroy anything, it should just work. Yeah, and that is the problem. So I, this here is stage two of things I got to fix. I got to take these back out. And what I'll have to do is I'll have to like, I'll probably put injectors in and float them up and then park them somewhere temporarily. And then I'll put them on the line after the first ones go by is probably what I'll do. My only goal for today is to get, is to, is to fix this problem is to get the fusion reactor to work. Okay. Um, that's, that's my goal, right? My goal is I want the fusion reactors working. All right. So I already tried 
I've already tr I keep trying to make this work and it's really not happy with me. <laughs> it's it's just not happy. Um yeah. Uh so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wiring out. Uh, I'm just going to let it run. I'm going to let it run wild and we'll see what the bad timing is. All right. Uh, let's do that. Uh, if we just get to see it run in its raw environment, then we can kind of say, oh, okay, this is where it's kind of messing up. All right. So we're going to take that out. Um, uh, let's see here. What do I, what's, what do I got going on here? Oh, right. Uh, yes. Um, well, is that going to make much difference? Uh, I really hate to destroy all this work. Uh, because, I mean, this was a little bit of work. Um, well, okay, first of all, let's just cut that wire off. No, can you do that? I don't think this is tied into anything else. Uh, so, <laughs> you gotta be really careful what you take apart, right? Because, like, you know, things can fall apart really fast. Uh, like, super fast. Um, alright, well, you know what? Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we're just going to do it this way. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll take this all out. We're going to take this out. Um, do, 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 do. And I'll hook that back up here in a second. Uh, we'll take that out. Take that out. Uh, take that out. Uh, so now that can come out here. And, uh, we'll just, we'll clean that up for the moment. All right, so this guy's just going to be able to come out. As fast as he wants, he's going to go up the ladder uh, to come up here. Um, this is a this is a basic counter, right? This is a basic counter. Um, you know, it is what it is. I actually got to put in some steps here. Actually, I uh, I just realized that uh, because you took out things, Max. Uh, okay. Uh, so we'll put this back in. Um, and then I think it's, uh, what is it? One, two, three. Um, one, two, three. I think it's right there where I got to put in the next two. Right. And then one, two, three again. I see I've left in the last two there. And then this last one should work. All right. So that's, uh, Sawyer, what's up? I hope it's all good in the neighborhood. You bet. Uh, all right. So, uh, first things for, we're just going to let this run. We're going to see what happens. Now, I, like I said, this this thing here is junk, right? This is just a simple timer that I had to try and... Um, uh, is it trying to be lifted for the whole run? It, well, no. Um, I don't think. <laughs> well, in parts it lifts and in other parts it falls. It all depends when you're welding, right? Um, uh, 50 pieces. Oh, is it for the Yakuzuma? <laughs> it's the samurai sword and 50 pieces of gold. Yeah, listen, I just don't got that much bribery in hand. Uh, so, okay, we're just gonna. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Uh, so this is like, remember, we got no pushers stopping anything here, right? Uh, I just gotta look to see what it is I've got broken. Uh, so first thing broken is you didn't move this over far enough. All right, uh, well then let's fix that. Uh, nope, do that. Um, I was pretty sure I'd done that. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, maybe maybe that was it? Uh, all right, we'll just get this to run. Yeah, uh, right on Nightbot. It's A to B to C. All right, so there we go. So this guy is just going up, right? He shouldn't even be here yet. All right, he is here so early. He is here way too early, okay? So, right, like, I mean, we're not even, we haven't even put together the first base plates yet. And this guy's already got the reactor up here. He's like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Lo load me up, chief. I'm good, right? Um, but that's bad. That's bad because, you know, um, uh, yeah, like, like, there is no base plate here. So if we just run this farther... Right? So he drops into place. Like, the base plate isn't even ready yet. Uh, in fact, I think it's... Like, it, yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's barely starting to make the first base plate. Uh, so that is the first problem. This guy, way too soon. Alright. Yeah. 
Just pretend that doesn't happen. All right, there we go. Okay, so we do have, all right, so let's put in this wire. All right, so we do have a wire, okay? And as you can see, it runs all the way down there. Uh, and that wire, and what it does is when all the pieces are together to make a base plate, the block that comes afterwards will release uh, release the, uh, um, the, the reactor, all right? So the question becomes, is that a good place to trigger this, right? So this wire comes all the way down here, do to do do, right? And it comes all the way down here, do to do do. And now we'll put in, uh, we'll put in a thing, right? Uh, like, no, not you. Yeah, thanks. All right, so there we go. Uh, so now the question becomes, where do I need the trigger for this to happen? All right. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really what it is. I should only allow, and the thing is, I can't allow this every single time. I should only allow this every second time. And maybe that's my problem here. Maybe these should be turned in, not into just button plates, but counter plates, right? The problem is, is I need them. I need the first one to trigger. That's really hard to explain. Um, let me, uh, let me, anyway, we're, we're going to run this. All right, we're going to run it. Uh, so let's run this. Uh, so of course that's blocked. It's blocked over here right now, right? Yeah, he is, he is stuck there. He can't do squat. All right, so, uh, let's run over here and we're going to watch a base plate being made. Uh, do, 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 um, sure. Now I actually have this hooked up twice and I only need to have it hooked up once. I just need to make like, I have it hooked up here, but I also have it hooked up here. And that's a waste because these are on, these are slightly different timed, right? Um, make it all push on foundations until it hits the sideways run, uh, which would be great. Uh, I, I might do that though. Uh, can a button push a button via a piston? I don't know if it can. I mean, I got a double piston working, so I don't know. And I also have a an opposite gate working, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing here. I'm probably going to end up having to do an opposite gate, right? All right. So here comes. So yeah, there is our uh, there is our first uh, platform. All right, and that's fine. But you're going to see here, um, right? So then there, it sent the signal again, and it's now released the second one, right? And that's no good. Uh, I can't. That second one can't happen. All right. Um, so can I change these to? Uh, I need some sort of way to do an opposite gate here, uh, and I need it to last long enough to make this happen. Uh, there we go. Uh, so. Do, 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 do. Uh, and this is the top. Oh, no, this is the bottom. This is the bottom. We'll take that. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, don't, don't, don't erase things. <laughs> don't erase things. Put things in. All right, there we go. Uh, rot no, oh, gee whiz. Uh, rotate, rotate, rotate. Put that in. Okay, so... I need to actually revert. I need it. I need this to work in reverse. I actually need the, the first count. I actually need the first count to work. Okay. Uh, I actually need to do this in reverse. Uh, so this is where you need a pusher thing uh, to happen. Right? Where we actually push the wire in to do a trigger. Uh, I can cut this upper wire off for now. That's fine. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let this I'm going to let this run. I just want to see what the uh, reaction is, right? Uh, so we're going to do that. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, and and we, I, I am fast forwarding this, by the way. Uh, a lot of this has to be done with fast forward. You never get anything. It takes it takes literally like five minutes to get like through the puzzle one time. So, and this is part of the problem. This puzzle is so complicated um, that, uh, like, it 
takes so long to do that like even like doing a couple of tests takes like minutes right okay so then it's gonna spit them four in there all right so let's see what happens now all right so everybody's gonna back up all right um now that trigger right there i wonder like where are we where are we at all right so this guy's coming out here i just don't uh i think that's not it, it's going to be too late for him to get up here all right uh, i'll i'll tell you what i mean um your my first thought would be oh okay well there's a trigger wire here right i mean when this when this all resets it it lights up this wire for a few seconds which would allow that backup piston but i think it arrives too late so what i'm going to do is i will demonstrate that and there's a bunch of stuttering because this thing is so laggy now uh, i'm going to cut that off there for a second uh so let's uh let's do it this way right um what do i got going on here uh yes uh we can do it here uh so we're gonna hook that in there and basically what's gonna happen is is when this when this uh pulls back and resets it would release a cont it would release a reactor but i don't think the reactor gets here fast enough uh so we're gonna do that um <laughs> i would love to be able to answer that question really fast but probably can't um okay so as you can see um why is this why are these all lit up all right so okay all right there's our first problem um i could probably all right so the reactor's here way too early all right well just just hold on a second that might that might be a thing all right don't use that wire you goof um use right if we don't use that wire where what wire could we use could we use this wire right here every time would that be fast enough right uh let's let's find out shall we uh let's go okay uh so we'll uh we'll hit the fast forward button here right so obviously we we're not letting any reactors out yet. All right. And one, two, three. Okay. So there's a reactor re uh, that, that, that is now activated. All right. I don't know if it's going to be long enough to get this reactor out of the box though. Cause that's part of the problem. You need a two second delay to make this work. Okay. So it did get out of the box. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. So we know that it's long enough to make that happen now the question is 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 the reactor going to get up here fast enough to get into play um uh to uh to make things happen right uh so we're going to fast forward this All right, well we're not fast forwarding this part here comes our reactor uh here comes the base plate and the base plate is here is it going to slide over Ooh, oh it's just in time and there comes the top okay so that looks that i mean i'm happy with that i am groovy all right so that's cool all right uh so let's uh remove the confusion here let's take this out um actually we can leave them there for now they're not doing anything now right like these are kind of messed up so now here's my problem that's going to happen again except the second time i don't want it to happen right the second time that happens i actually want it to skip right so um right so we're gonna have that because i need to make i need to make the entire plate again but i don't want it to release a reactor yet all right so do do do, do. how do i add a delay to this um so the first time the first time it goes through it's great the second time it goes through it's not great and this is where uh this is where i i need to add one of them really cool uh reverse gates uh that i had 
Um. So we don't want this wire to activate on the second pass, right? Uh, it's gonna act. Well, it, this wire will activate every time this happens, right? So if I keep running this, right? So there it is. There's the activation. This wire is activated again. It's gonna allow another reactor out of this box, and that's bad because we don't want that, right? And sure enough, there goes a reactor, right? But we don't want that. Uh, that's bad. That's bad for me. Um. Right? So, uh, what I'm almost thinking is, is that I need a counter here. Um, and I need the counter. How am I going to make that work? I need the counter when a counter reaches, um, like a certain thing. Um, well, it is hard to explain in writing, right? Um, place the counter that can... <laughs> okay, that's that's really that's really not helpful uh, <laughs> on the wire um, on the react uh, on the wire of the reactor blocker. Uh, place a counter that counts, right? I, which is awesome. I, I would agree to that. Um, the problem is is that it's kind of like an AND gate. You want you want a, two conditions to be met. I need the first one to go, the second... See, I wish the counter... I wish you could tell the counter which one you want it to go on. That's the problem with the counter block. Uh, like, if I just stop all this. The problem with the counter block is that I can't tell it to start on the first count or the second count. You can't tell it what count it starts on. It always starts when it cycles around, right? Like, if I could say, start on your first count... Then this would be fine. I could I could put a count I could change that to a counter block up there and that would be fine. But it doesn't. Um, that's why I think I've got to do um, this neat little path here. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, oh wait a minute! I can probably do it. I think I have it over here. That's why I think I'm going to have to do this little setup. So you see this here? I'm going to have to do an interrupter block, which allows this to run but only, only at a certain time, right? Uh, if there's a reactor, yeah, sense if there's a reactor in place. Um, I tried that, right? Uh, on multiple occasions, I have set up blocks up here, and I mean, I have set up all kinds of crazy blocks up here. I've put buttons here, I've put, I, I've tried so many things up here, it's crazy. Um, you know, is there a platform here? Is there a, um, is there, is there, uh, a reactor here? Is the top piece here? Um, I've just had no luck with a separate circuit where the, uh, reactor is either getting here in time or the reactor just doesn't get here at all, right? Uh, and that's why I think I've got to base it on when it's when this main everything else runs off of this main circuit every stage along the way runs from this main circuit all right so when we see this wire light up you'll see wire light up all through the factory because each piece moves its next piece forward and that's great uh, but the problem is is that i've got to try and figure out uh, a one stager and i think this is going to be this is my solution i just I can't see it in my brain yet, right? This here is my solution, where it's allowed to connect on the first one, but not allowed to connect after that, if that makes any sense, right? That's what this block does. This block prevents any connection in that circuit until, it'll, until it's activated, right? Uh, so, do, 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 I think that's what I'm going to need over here. I need some sort of reactionary block, which is going to open this block. Is that a pusher or is that a, is that a, okay. Uh, so this is a, yeah, that is things there. Um, so it's almost like, yes, I'm going to allow you to have this, but I'm only going to allow you to have this if... Uh, I think that's floating, right? Yes, that is floating. 
Um, do, 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 do. I'm actually going to put that one back in there. I'm going to try it out here. Um, well, okay, so first of all, we need to do this. We need to do that. You need to do this. Uh, not that. Uh, do this. Uh, no, no, stop that. Rotate that. Delete this. All right. Uh, so... This, I, I want this block to be active first, right? This block allowed to be activated. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, but then this, uh, th th yeah, this is really hard to explain. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, this is fine. This is fine, Max. I mean, you built the rest of it, Max. So, I mean, you can get this done. We can get this done. All right, so, uh, again, sometimes I just find it's easier for me to visually see it happening, right? Because it's really, I mean, it is kind of hard to visually see this stuff working. Um, so, let's try putting some base plate on this, I guess. Okay, so, I want you to sit there. And I want this activated from the start. Right? Okay, cool, right? So the first one I want, this is this is cool, right? I want this to be activated, right? Uh, that's cool. Do, 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 do. Now, where can I stick this? Uh, actually, you're probably going to have to run a wire from it. Uh, so where are you going to get that wire from? Uh, okay. Uh, and do that, do this, and we'll take a wire from this. Because, I mean, really, at the end of the day, dude, uh, you're going to have to wire this to something. Uh, so, let's go. Uh, we're going to come out here. Don't touch that wire. Okay, come out here. And then we're going to come up here. Okay, and then... Uh, can I make it past that post? Yes, I can. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Now, maybe this is where these come into play, right? Maybe this is where I now get this to help me, right? Um, do 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 do. Uh, so, I need I need that wire to be active right now, right? Uh, I think. Right. So. Uh, right, so that wire is going to activate. I'm pretty sure this is what I need. I just need, I need to work this piece out because I think there's going to be like four blocks that go by here and that's going to totally mess this up, but that's okay. I mean, what we want to see here is I'm just going to get a block to go by and then go down and stare at it, right? All right, so we got the blocks coming in. This is our first base plate. Okay, so this has power, which means we should be releasing a reactor, right? Because that has power. Reactor being released, yes? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. Now, we do have blocks coming by here. Okay, so this block has just gone by, right? Uh, yep. And, okay, uh, so now, right, this wire should be off, but it's not. Why is that wire not off? Why, why is that not working? That should have worked. What did I miss there? Why is that, why is that not working? Um... Did I use the wrong block? Maybe I should have used a pusher block? A withdraw block? Yeah, I probably should have done that. That's That would have made sense, Max. Uh, okay, yep, just hold on a second. All right, uh, do, 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 do. All right, uh, do this. And do this, uh, do this, do... No, stop it. Uh, I think this is in reverse of what I want, though. Uh, no, do this, do that. 
Nah, see, that doesn't work. Uh, alright. I need... <laughs> Gee whiz. Uh, put these back, put that, put this back there. Uh, what did I miss there? Um, yeah, get rid of that. Uh, yes. Let's go stare at my example over here. It's always good to have an example kicking around. Right? And then, yeah, you're allowed in. Alright, and then we'll stop that. I just wanted to make sure that was working as I expected it to. Uh, so, same deal here, right? Yeah, hook you in. You're allowed in, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure this counter is supposed to, uh, set this off, right? Um, it just seems really weird. Something seems off here. Uh, like, what are, what, what are these counters doing? Nothing. Which is what they should be doing. They should be doing nothing. Um, right. And as soon as they count. Uh, Alright, so there comes the counters. Okay, I see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, what's happening is, is it's counting. But I think it's triggering so fast. Okay, and there's one. Yeah, see, it's yeah. Uh, uh, G. <laughs> like I need. Uh, do 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 do. Um, could I try to put that counter on here? Okay, just a second. Um, so, if I put the counter up here, we'll do it that way. All right. And then run the wire out here. Okay. Uh, we'll move that down here. Move that down here. All right, uh, and that's a two count, right? Um, yes. Maybe I should have it back here by one. Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll do it. Ah, uh, that's going to interfere with that, though. Gosh darn it. Uh, no, I can fix that. <laughs> I can fix that. Uh, do that this way take this out. oh no I can't do it that way because it interferes with this block here I've had that problem before uh, okay uh, can I do it underneath sure you can he says it's fine all right uh, so you can take that out now I can put this counter on here uh, all right we'll get we'll uh, check the old wires around the counter yeah, they are connected. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yep. Uh, that was definitely going to be a problem. That was definitely going to be a problem. Uh, okay, so we'll run this. And that is going to activate, which we expect. Okay. Uh, but this is not like... Um, okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Because, again, I got to see it to believe it, right? So that is closed. Right, the next one's loaded. Now, I don't care that it's loaded, as long as it can't go anywhere. That's what I don't want. I don't want it going anywhere, right? But the problem is it's going to get somewhere because this is going to activate before this second trigger, uh, which is a problem. Uh, and that's not good. So 
right? Like, uh, we're going to come down here. That second one's going to... Yeah, so there, there's the activation of the second trigger, right? That has now just released my second uh, thing. And sure enough, there it goes. And we don't want that. I wanted this wire to be hot. And I just... I can't seem to get a hot wire on here. Um... Okay, uh, let me try this. Just a second. Yep, goodbye. Uh, we'll just try a good old-fashioned sensor. No, no. Uh, yeah, do that. Okay, uh, so off you go. And, uh, sure. We'll hit the fast-forward on that. All right. You can't set it any lower. Uh, so advance to second count for activation. Yeah. Uh, all right. So there is, there is that wire. All right. So this, all right. So if we, we pause that, this wire should now be cut. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So now with this wire cut, it doesn't matter if it tries to reactivate that, that should be stopped. Right. And it can't reactivate that wire until these two blocks get pushed out of the way, which happens after it gets rid of that. Uh, so let's uh, slowly see if that works. Okay, we're gonna load these up. Okay. So there, that, so see that got activated, but that didn't do squat because this didn't allow that path to go all the way through, right? Uh, so yeah, you're still stuck there, buddy. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Uh, so that's good. That, that's what uh, yeah, I think that that might be it right uh, and then now the sec th this second block is coming through right it's gonna come through here in a second and those are now pushed away which reactivates the circuit right so now the circuit is made and now a new reactor can come out yeah so there it is perfect now the question is is does the timing work I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Uh, so meanwhile, are we are we advancing any? Um, so this has to get out of the way. Uh, we, yeah, you got to get out of here, buddy. Um, where's your uh, Where's your friends? Um, okay, yeah. Here's your Here's your platform friend. Um, he's getting welded together right now, right? Uh, yeah, you got to get out of here, dude. And, yep, yeah, Guan Scoot. Yeah, there you go. Yep, yeah, bye bye. Same deal. Okay, now I do got to stop this because if we want to actually really see this work, I've got to deactivate this circuit right there. Okay, so we can take the wires out. Uh, that counter would have pushed uh, every second one of these away, right? That was my old. That was my old standby. If I just deactivate that circuit, this this piston never fires, and they always come through. Uh, so that's fine. All right. So uh, we will run it. Uh, why did something just fall down there? <laughs> because there's a magical thing that just fell down, uh, and that's because you need to put at least one wire on here. Uh, we can just put that wire there just to prevent it from falling down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's funny how like so many things depend on so many other connections and you'll delete a block and then like half the base falls apart <laughs> and it's like what's going on what did i do it's all very scary uh all right there we go uh so that is gonna be that okay he comes out this guy's now the base plate uh for that that's great and then he's the bottom he's the top okay so is this the next plate you're gonna get here in time right Oh, uh, why did you fire? Whoa, 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 dude. Whoa. Oh, because he's sitting right on top. Gosh darn it. All right. Um, just let me take this whole thing out. It's just easier. All right. That was, that was my bad. I didn't realize they could do a direct connect. Uh, I thought you had to have them hooked up by wire. That's actually very interesting. Hmm. Anyway, I will, uh, I will note that for future, <laughs> for future things. All right. Uh, here we go. And again, I'm not worried about those posts. I'm not worried about the extra blocks. I just need to be consistently making uh, a reactor core base, right? Uh, right, so we've welded it. Here comes the bottom halves of the other halves. Yeah, they get out of the way. Bye-bye, see you later. 
Uh, here comes the next plate. And sure enough, he's in there next. Uh, this guy is out of here, right? Yeah, We uh, and I don't care where he goes. Blah, 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 blah. There he goes. Uh, and then this is the next guy. All right, yeah, and there he goes. And then... All right, yeah, here comes our next reactor. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we got the timing. We got. I think we got the timing worked out. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, that that not gate, uh, that or that well whatever it is the or gate and or gate yeah look at that that's consistent right there people that's consistency right there yeah yeah okay i know you're you're, you're yeah whatever listen <laughs> hey I, that seems to be working that's that's working awesome how am i doing for time all right well then let's try to solve the next problem um yay yay us uh i'm really happy uh okay so problem number two Problem two is we need all these <laughs> and I'm destroying half of them. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, what do you want to do about that, Max? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a good plan on that yet. Uh, do you want to push them in the air like you just don't care and then try to deal with them later? Ooh, uh, I don't know. Well, even if you could push them in the air like you just don't care, you're never going to push them up eight high. So you're going to have to... Are you going to drop them instead? Ugh, that's ugly. Okay, so, okay, let's say you drop it. Um, can you make a second track down here which would allow us to do what we did with the first one? I don't know. I think that's all ugly no matter what you do. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, one job is all left over. The next one is urgently pending. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, like, what do you want to do about that? Um, I mean... Now, this trigger here... I mean, I have this triggered based on... I mean, we could try to do these triggers based on the main circuit. But that's really going to be slow, and it's really going to mess up the timing. Um, so, uh, let's not... Well, all right, first, first things first. Stop killing them. All right, let's do that. Let's just stop killing them for now. All right, just do that. Okay, do that. Um, <laughs> okay, but you do realize you can't push them off of here either, right? Uh, you push them off of here, it just sends them into deep space. All right, do that, uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, so let's run that and see what happens. All right. Uh, trigger off the reactor push now that it, now that it has an alternative. Possible. Uh, now that we do have an alternative push, we could actually maybe feed off of that second wire. Um, I should clean this up, by the way. <laughs> this is a, a wire mess, right? Uh, now that we have this alternative push wire, uh, we could maybe use it as my alternative feeder for this, right? Uh, but we will we'll have a look at it. We'll just get it to run here first. And again, this is where, like, I solve a problem and then I usually go off for the night and I would be like, oh, okay, I solved the problem or uh, I didn't solve the problem, I'll focus on it later, right? Or whatever, right? So it's just one of those things. But in this case, we're gonna try and keep going here to solve the next problem. Okay, and then, all right. Uh... And this could be just as simple as needing a two block delay to get the timing right. I mean, that could be this, all this is. All right, there we go. Uh, so there goes the blocks. Okay, uh, everybody's happy, right? One, two, right? These guys are working their way down. Okay, and then these, we already know these guys will make it in time. We already know this. Right? Okay, yep. Yeah, so they're all happy. Alright, uh, let's go up here. 
And all right, so this guy's coming out. Uh, that's great. He's supposed to. He flips around. Here comes his base friend. Uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, this looks good, actually. Uh, it might have been I just needed a two-block delay here. Um, I didn't actually need it to... I don't actually need to destroy anything. I just needed a delay enough. Yeah, so there's the base. The base is now in. Right? Boom. Uh, and sure enough, that guy should take off. Right? You're going to take off here, right, guys? Dude, you're, are you... Okay, there you go. Gee whiz. <laughs> you're awful slow there, buddy. Uh, I hope you get here in time. Um... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Nope. Uh, something happened. All right, something happened here. Why did you stop? Why did he stop? Uh, he was delayed. He, he got delayed here. Uh, all right, so something happened. Well, first of all, there was one block over here that shouldn't have been there. I don't know what's going on with that. Now, I will say, on the very odd occasion, um... This is, this is a really big build, right? There's a lot of moving parts. And I will say that the game isn't exactly super optimized. So sometimes when you're hitting the fast forward key, like you'll see a, like, like, like uh, one of the biggest areas I see it is right here, uh, where it will actually miss a turn and it will actually not turn the pieces, right? So, um, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, well, listen, I don't know about... AI doesn't know a lot of things, dude. That's just AI for you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the big thing there is... Uh, I do find that fast-forward sometimes... Like, like I do find... Like, you'll see the stutters, especially when I, when I engage it. Uh, or when I disengage the puzzle. Uh, it stutters. And, like, you can... See, so you kind of see these things happening, right? But I'm going to watch to make sure that we're getting good welds here now right uh so of course that's uh here comes our first base plate gets flipped around here comes our first under plate right uh it is pushed up that's right uh so that looks good and uh this actually looks really nice i'm so happy about that uh all right so then there he goes right uh, and you guys are now going to join in. So now, I'm pretty sure this guy's fine. I'm not worried about him. All right. He's going to drop down here in a second. All right. There he goes. Here comes his friend. He's going to flip around. And is it just because we're not sending them fast enough? Okay. And then... Uh, all right, so he's up. All right. Uh, I just want to move over here so I can see what's going on. Uh, okay, so he is up. Uh, everybody's in position, right? Uh, this guy is still loading. Uh, all right, that looks good. Uh, okay, so that should have welded that block. We should be good there. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, run this. And there's his topper. Okay, so this guy is welded. We know that he's welded. I mean, he gets welded the same as the other guy. Alright, so let's, uh, make sure he gets on down here. Okay, uh, there's his flip. Alright, so he's flipped into position. But this guy, this guy is really early. Okay, let's have a look at this. Like, this guy is super early. Yeah, like, he's here, he's here too early. Like, by, like, one block. Uh, that's fine. Uh, yes. Um, can I delay it a little more? Sure. I'm sure I can. <laughs> I mean, uh, can I add one more weave into the whole process? And will the weave actually hurt me? Mm, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, can you add one more weave? Uh, I don't know if I can add a weave in time to get around this. Um, but we can try. Okay. Um, 
do 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 why does this look weird um oh okay it's just though it's just the way i weaved it uh okay stop it uh okay uh so rotate and then uh we're gonna rotate that one And then we're going to rotate that one, that one, that one. I don't think I can get it back there in time. Uh, you can, but it's going to be really tricky. Uh, so I got to do... Yeah, I can get it back there in time, but I got I to gotta really work hard at it. Uh, okay, so that's one. And then this guy's got to turn this way. And then this guy's going to be two. Okay. And then this third one, I'm actually going to sneak right down the side and drop it right on like that. All right. So let's see if that adds. Uh, um, What's the trigger to push the reactor with the one pillar on? Seems slower the second time. Uh, the trigger is, um, well, if we follow it back, uh, the trigger should be the main circuit. Uh, so the main circuit, of course, controls the weld, uh, and it controls the upper weld. Uh, that is what all this is. Uh, this main circuit then comes back here. It comes down here. Okay. And then up here. Um to this button right here uh so this button right here is uh when the top when the top falls on top now unfortunately um this top is going to be a little off sensitive i will say it may not be perfect and that's scary because i may have to fight with it all the way through right uh, but we'll see I may have to I may have to come up with a whole new methodology uh, than having the top circuit than having this button right here control that circuitry down there right uh, so you'll see what happens and and, and it is going to have slightly different times right so here comes the top which is going to activate that button boom and then that's what that's because it can't uh, just stop here for a second this button when it's when it triggers is what engages the welders, right? So until the top hits here, these welders can't engage. Um, obviously, we wouldn't want the welders to engage early. It won't get welded, right? Um, did I forget a last rotate over here? Uh, oh, I did. Uh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Uh, rotate, rotate, rotate. Uh, rotate, rotate. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that should do it. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you can't engage these welders until the top is firmly in place. So, it's a good time to trigger everything. Like, the push-off and everything else. But, I don't know if the top slightly delayed due to blocks that I'm messing up somewhere. Like, on that top. Um, I mean, the best I can do is just add a delay for now. And just an, a, an additional delay here. Yes, I could probably mess around with uh, blockers again. And I may end up having to do that, right? I may actually have to put blockers here to, to get it to work. But if I can just get away with kind of, you know, weaseling my way through a maze to make it work, I will take that, right? Uh, do, 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 do. And I'm actually a little happy about this because I was always a little worried about how fast this was getting here. So, yeah, that, that delay has actually worked out like a little better for me. But I don't know if we'll make it on the third one. <laughs> I mean, hey, if we make a couple of them, you know, we'll see what happens. Remember, we only got one successful one so far. So, I mean, if, uh, if we get two successful ones, I'll take that. All right, so there is that. Um... Okay, that looks good. All right. Uh, okay, so that that 
there you go. All right, so there's a there's a successful second one, and hey, th he's gone. Uh, one down. Uh, one down. Nice. Uh, excellent. Um, now, do I think this uh, put itself together correctly? Probably not. Uh, that did. That did. Uh, did you get a block? I don't know if he got a block or not. Um, because of course it's blocked. <laughs> you can't see. Um, I don't know if these guys got blocks or not. No, he didn't get a block. See, he's messed up, I think. Um, which means this is going to fail by the time it gets up there. Now, I could put a delay in here just to prevent this from going in so as we could try and get as many out here as possible to see if this is going to jam up or not. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll run it for now. Uh, yeah, and see how I have to fix these blocks? They're all over the board. They're all over the place. Yeah, so if I go check this... Uh, yeah, see, he's missing a block there. And did he get the block on this side? Oh, he did get the block on that side. So he's only missing the one block. But yeah, that's going to mess up when it goes into the machine, right? Um, meanwhile, what's going on here? Um, yes, you got... Okay, yes, you got your things. Are you going to get here before... No, see, he's he's already done. Oh, darn it, I hit the wrong button. So, the issue appears that my, my blocks here are just a little too fast for the ceilings that are coming in, for the toppers. All right. Uh, which means a couple of things. One, um, I'm going to have to base this on the topper right uh yep i mean obviously the topper is the engager so having this on its own button can't work anymore it's going to have to be based on this when the topper hits we will allow this to release uh but not right away um do 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 how can i what can i do to make that happen uh, is there anything that I can do in nine minutes to make that magic happen? <laughs> um, do, do. Uh, let's see. Well, we know we know we can borrow off of that circuit. Uh, and I think that circuit is right here. But I got I got to be. You always got to be careful where you're taking stuff from. Like for example, these these double welders. If any block touches this at all, it breaks it right so you can't put extra blocks to this you can't have blocks rubbing up beside this you can't do anything like that right this will break this so when you're like running wires around you really got to make sure uh not to uh not to do that um okay so i should allow it i should allow it to make two blocks it's the same problem it's the same problem. I don't want it to trigger. All right, so it's. I'm going to end up having to do this down here, right? Um, same issue, right? We don't want to release those blocks on the first circuit. We only want to release them on the second circuit. So I'm going to have to use this same setup down here. In fact, I'll probably have to borrow this setup, like these two wires, period, right? I would think. Uh, this wire is extra now, I think. This is just an extra wire I have. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is an extra wire that... Uh, well, yes, I mean, it, it does have that. And yes, it does other important things. But um, I don't think this actually does anything anymore. I might try to clean this up. Uh, I, I, it did at one time. It just doesn't anymore. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Uh, I, I, know what I, I know what's got to happen here. What's got to happen here is I got to clean this up. Right, I got to shorten this up into just two uh, a base two. Right, uh, it doesn't matter if it's running extra blocks. Um, uh, I'll, I'll just set it up for extra blocks, and then I'm going to set up a. I'll probably borrow from this circuit down there and let it push off, but only on the second circuit, and then do that. Right. Uh, I think the box you're losing on the base construction are slowing it down. Yes. So the problem is, is that I am losing two blocks here. I am losing these blocks. 
The problem is, is that I have tried many times to get them to include, and I just can't do it. And yes, that is what's causing the desync of this. I totally agree. It's totally desyncing this out. So if I can get the, so if I can get it to work off of that main circuit, hence using those two wires down there to trigger this, we should be okay. It should work. Um, but I'm going to have to play with that offline a little bit and uh, see how it works. But A, uh, in, in this case, uh, we do have, I mean, not only, we did solve one of the three issues, uh, which is a consistent, um, which is a consistent base for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the reactor. And the nice part about that circuit is that I can use the same circuit to probably fix this problem here and uh you know well well over here i think this is just more of a timing issue and we can do that right um so that is uh, so let's uh let's run it let's uh, at least get one we'll get one successful one in there again just so as we can see uh this working in all its glory i mean this is <laughs> it's a very fancy machine right i mean and this is nothing we are before we end the stream we're actually going to go to the next puzzle which is even going to be worse than this Oh yeah, this is this is this is child play compared to that. Uh, that's what that is. Uh, but yeah, so this comes down here. Yeah, that plugs in there, and there's the topper. Boom. There's the weld, uh, which of course, uh, if there was anything over here, it would get shoveled off. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you know, that's all good in, in the neighborhoods. Uh, and then these guys are gonna weld up, and we won't worry about these guys for now. Uh, you know, we'll let them do whatever they're going to do. <laughs> um, yeah, and there comes the base. There's the top. There's the bottom that's going to get pushed up and welded. Boom, there it is. All right, there's our first uh, our first reaction. And we know at least this one works uh, tickety-boo fine. And, of course, the other issue here, of course, is that these guys are a mess. Now, we have four blocks in here, and they look great. Uh, but, unfortunately, the next set of blocks coming in doesn't do so well. Um, but anyway, they come over here, boom, they get plugged in, right, uh, to fill in the holes. And then, of course, uh, you know, uh, and this is, and once again, this, oh, there's an auto save. Please don't crash. Uh, <laughs> oh, darn it. It crashed. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. I was going to say, don't you dare crash. Um, this here, the, uh, doing this, uh, this opposite circuit, uh, really did save things, right? Um, because it allowed things to go, yeah. Um, one pillar got stuck, did it? And that might have that might be a thing. I, you know, we'll have to check. Uh, do do do. Well, well, we'll see what happens when it comes over here. Uh, because I'm going to stand here. This here, like, see, this here is awesome. I mean, it's just, you know, it just allows this circuit to be broken so as it can only uh trigger when this circuit is uh activated and that circuit is deactivated right i mean that is just really cool all right so there's our there's our uh yes we are missing a pillar right why am i miss oh <laughs> I was gonna say, why am i missing a pillar uh please stop please stop that uh oh did i crash it yeah like Every time you stop this thing, it gets really iffy. It gets really iffy. I hate that. Um, <laughs> I was like, where'd that pillar go? Yeah, it's just dancing. It's dancing on the ceiling, right? Welcome to the 80s, people. Oh, what a feeling. I'm dancing on the ceiling. You betcha. Uh, you know, uh, who was that? Billy Ocean? Was it? I, I can't remember if it was Billy Ocean that sang that or not. Oh, man, I'm really dating myself now. Uh, it's fine though. It's perfectly fine. I think we're all. <laughs> I think we'll be okay now. Uh, there we go. We got the three of them coming down here now. We're all right. Oh yeah. Oops. You, you've gone out too far there, Max. Uh, there we go. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're at least gonna get one of them done here. Uh, we can see that happening again. It's just timing. It's just going to be the timing, right? And as you can see here, we have more blocks coming down, but this isn't ready to receive them. So it's like, ugh. Yeah, I'm going to stick that on top of a thing, and it's going to look stupid. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, sure, he says. 
Uh, yeah, come on, let's go. We got things to do today. All right, there we go. And this is going to be our one completed one anyway for today. And uh, we'll, we'll make it happen. We're going to make it happen, right? Um, in fact, this one would almost happen if I didn't mess it, like if it didn't get caught in the back of that. This one would have been just fine. Like this one, this one would have also made it. So there's our nine. Uh, and it's nice to see these are working so well. Uh, that is a really big, uh, that's a really big improvement. All right, let's go have a look at the next puzzle because it's even going to be worse than this one. Yeah, like this one wasn't bad enough. Nope. It wasn't bad enough, people. Let me go park myself over here. I kind of like to have ground underneath me when I go to park because these things are so crazy stopping them now. Like, yeah, do you hear all the sound effects? Yeah, it's, it's, it really... It really does, like, that's me trying to stop the whole puzzle now, right? Uh, I'm really scared that it's going to crash the game at some point in time, and then we're just going to lose it, but we'll do what we can. Uh, and, of course, now I have the sound effects gun, right? So, uh, okay, so fusion reactor. Uh, we'll go into solution one. Oh, no, that's, that's not it. Uh, no, get out of there. Uh, go back to this. Uh... No, crew quarters, dude. Yeah, so, all right, here's the crew quarters. Now, uh, again, a very, very uh, beginning intro on this one, right? Um, yeah, basically, once again, you're forced to build a whole lot of blocks, <laughs> right? Yeah, right? you're going to make a whole lot of blocks. Um, and uh, that all has to be welded, right? Uh, so here are the blocks here. Um, so we're going to weld some, we, we, we would weld some of these together. You know, you're going to get some furniture, right? Um, I'm hoping that you would get, um, four sets. Okay. Uh, out of this one, what I'm hoping to get is, as you can see here, we're getting a three by three block, right? Um, so that would be a three by three block. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, and then, of course, a three by three block over here is one, two, three, four. What I would hope for is I could make one wall and then laser blast it, right? I could laser blast a hole in it, and then that would be awesome. Um, but I don't know if I can do that yet. Uh, like I said, this one's... Th yeah, at least the frog people gave you private rooms. <laughs> hey, uh, that's true, except that, you know, we are trying to save thousands of species here right <laughs> uh you know so um i mean i'm in a barracks right now right uh i will say though we get the bigger kitchen here right so not only are we getting the uh the stove and stuff but we're getting like a counter space and stuff so i don't know uh well we'll see how it goes uh but with that i'm max this has been infinifactory uh i will finish probably that next puzzle up uh of course that will be uh and again these take time. These are not done in an hour or so, right? Like I said, I've been working on them two puzzles now. What has it been? Almost three weeks. Um, so I work on them when I have a little extra time in my day. Uh, I don't always get to work on them every day, but I do try to try and take 20 minutes here until I get a little frustrated and then I go off and do something else. Um, no, well, uh, I, 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 I don't even think there's anybody out there that's got these this far, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, you know, so um, I work on, like I said, I work a little bit on this every day, and we see how we, we do. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, so my plan would be to get the uh, get get the crew quarters uh, done uh, for the next uh, for the next stream uh, on this anyway. We'll get the fusion reactor done and the uh, crew quarters done. Now, that, of course, leaves the plasma engine, um, which, of course, is a nightmare, right? It, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. As you can see here, I've already tried to start working out the blocks <laughs> for this. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nightmare. It's really a nightmare. Uh, there's so much nightmare going on here. Um, yeah, like you get individual blocks, which you've got to build this huge C-shaped thing. Okay. And then inside the C-shaped thing, I've got to shove a thing with two of these things. Ugh. 
And oh, of course, uh, of course, these have to be inserted into this thing and welded, right? Because that's a thing, right? So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's all it's all very painful, people. It's all very painful. It all looks very painful. Uh, so, with that, I am Max. This has been Infinifactory. I am going to bring it back. It'll probably be another two, three weeks, but we'll see where I end up with. Um, a big thanks to all recent subscribers as their names are going at the bottom of the screen. Um, let's see if we can't go back to the barracks here, and we'll just let we'll let the other one run while I talk ourselves out of this, right? Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll let this one run while it, uh, yeah, and if it doesn't crash first, because this is a nightmare. Uh, so we're going to let this one run to take us out. Uh, again, big thanks to recent subscribers. Uh, I appreciate everybody hitting the subscribe button. That's awesome. Uh, of course, uh, a big thanks to chat. Uh, Mr. O, Sawyer, uh, Ace, and I know there's another name here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was up towards the beginning. Uh, N Neno, right. Um, Mr. Taylor uh, showed up uh, to, to do a quick shout out in there as well. Um, so I think I got, now I think I got everybody uh, with Mr. O and Ace and uh, Mr. Taylor and uh, yeah, down, down, down. And <laughs> I get, and Sawyer. Yep. Yeah, uh, all good. All good. All good. I think I got, I think I, uh, I got uh, in fabric automation. Heck no. I'm telling you. This I I I mean, I really enjoyed the game up until these until this puzzle, and then this I don't know this kind of broke me. I, I must admit, this kind of broke me because after this I was just not so happy anymore. Uh, there has been a few nights where I have uh, put this away in frustration, uh, in severe frustration, <laughs> and that's it is what it is, right? Uh, it's just like, ugh, you know, die, scum. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you after that. Uh, but yeah, there's been a few nights of, there's been a few nights of, I wish this would just keel over. Uh, it is what it is. Um, well, I, I, I don't know about the cold sweats, but yeah, there's been a few nights where I've gone to bed thinking, like, curse this puzzle. <laughs> I really hate it. I really hate it a lot. Uh, but yeah, you know what? We'll make. We're, I will slowly poke away at it. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I believe tomorrow is Auto Forge. Uh, we will uh, continue on with the third science. I've got most of the pieces done for the third science. I have not gotten lucky enough to find the seeds for rubber again after losing those other seeds. I really wish they hadn't glitched out, but hopefully they're working again. Uh, I do have the resources though to open up two more blocks. One on the left. And one on the right. I think the one on the left is a volcano, which is where we're going to get our lava from. The one on the right um, will probably be more desert, and maybe we get lucky, right? Um, yeah, Jeff T. Jefferson expanding the map. Uh, yeah, this th th this one's the hardest, in your opinion, is it? Well, let me tell you, it this one this one has definitely made multiple cursing attempts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now, uh, it is painful. It is very painful. Uh, but we're going to make it happen. It's just, it's a little bit closer, people. It's a little bit closer. Uh, a, a big thanks to everybody. So we got uh, Auto Forge coming back tomorrow. We're going to do that third science. Uh, of course, Evil Genius 2 will be on Saturday if everything goes right. Uh, I did leave Sunday open in case something happened. Again, I am, uh, it has been a little more stable of a week for me, and I've been kind of happy about that. But I am still having to be very careful with my uh, health issue, my GI health issue at the moment. So I have been leaving a few extra days open here and there to make sure. Yeah, I know you're you're upset. Blah blah blah. Uh, you made a thing. Your goal was a thing. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with my thing? Yeah, I know what's wrong with it. It's missing the block up underneath. <laughs> you just don't know it. Uh, but that's what we're gonna do. We have Evil Genius Two coming on Saturday, and uh, you never know. We might do something for Sunday if I'm still feeling good enough. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out and doing all the things. Uh, uh, Auto Forge uh, tomorrow. And uh, everybody have a good night. And we'll see you all on the next one. Take care.